at Confederate monuments and burning the American flag. Police this morning are still telling us that he's cooperating with their investigation. This morning, haunting words and pictures from what authorities think might be a manifesto posted online from the 21-year-old accused of murdering a Bible study group at this historic black church, pointing a gun at the camera, posing with a gun in one hand and the stars and bars in the other. Yes, sir. Dylan Roof is being held on a million dollar bond this morning and police say he's confessing. The rant online was filled with hate for people who are black, Hispanic and Jewish, saying that I chose Charleston because it is the most historic city in my state and at one time had the highest ratio of blacks to whites in the country. We have no skinheads, no real KKK. Well, someone has to have the bravery to take it to the real world and I guess that has to be me. Today, vigils and services across the city will celebrate the lives of the nine people Roof is accused of murdering, and bells are ringing in their names. And overnight, Kevin Singleton took our cameras to the memorial for the first time after losing his mother, Myra Thompson, saying it's unbelievable to be back at his childhood church under these circumstances. It's rough. It's unexplainable, you know, when you lose a parent. We're meeting families here who've come from across the country. Good people are pained by this. It's kind of horror. It's just wrong. There'll be total healing here in Thank Charleston. You. And there will be a light to the nation. Thank that you. God can take any tragedy and turn it around into his goodness and his love. Yeah. That's my prayer. And we're meeting people like Mildred Carr and Della Jordan, friends and family of the victims here, who say they're still scared. Are there more coming? Is this going to start a civil racial war? Well, what is this, what what is this all about? There are vigils and services across the city today. And now the first of several funerals for the pastor of this church is now scheduled for the end of this week. Dan. Steve Osinsami on this story from the very beginning. Steve, thank you. As those services are held in Charleston this morning, 115 miles away at the South Carolina State House, the Confederate flag flies high. This massacre reopening an old and very painful debate about when, what many people see as a symbol of slavery. Two leading Republicans, including Mitt Romney and Jeb Bush, have now come out against the flag. So will it come down? Let's go to ABC's Martha Raddatz, who will be anchoring this week from Charleston. Martha, while Romney and Bush have both taken a stand here, many other Republicans aren't so sure. So where do you think this debate is heading? Well, I, th I certainly think it will intensify. This is a very, very emotional issue in this city, in this state. We talked to the mayor of Charleston <coughs> yesterday. He feels very strongly about bringing that flag down. We've heard around the state some rallies saying, bring it down. And those words from Jeb Bush and Mitt Romney do have some power. It reopens the debate in a very, very strong way. We also saw Lindsey Graham, the senator from South Carolina. He went on television the other day, and he didn't seem to want to take the flag down at all. Now, obviously, he's one of the most powerful figures in that state. That seems to indicate there will be no small amount of resistance if there's a push to take that flag down. Isn't that right? I, I think that's exactly right, Dan. There will be resistance. But, but Lindsey Graham didn't really take a position then. He just said, maybe we need to talk about this again. And I think people...